I am Amy from A Red Spatula and I love whole grains. If you've been here for any amount of time, you already know this, but if you're new here, let me just tell you, I love them. You're gonna see them a lot on my channel. Now, one of my very favorite grains to cook with is farro. It's an ancient grain. It turns out tender. I love the flavor of it. I use it in soups, salads, grain bowls, anything you can think of, really, I use it in them. Now, one of my favorite ways to cook farro is in a rice cooker. All I have is this really cheap little rice cooker that I bought a couple years ago and I use it all the time. So I'm gonna walk you through this process step by step. You're gonna see just how easy it is. You throw it in there, you forget about it, and it's done all of a sudden. So don't forget, of course, to subscribe. Hit that subscribe button and don't forget to like this video and let's get started. Okay, I like to use an Italian pearled farro. I love, pearl just means you take off a lot of that hard outer cover so it cooks quicker, so I like to use that. So I use that, salt, and then whatever liquid you're going for. You can use broth or water. I liked water because I just wanted that farro flavor for what I was using it for. Add all of this to your rice cooker, put the lid on it, set it to cook, you walk away, and then you're gonna come back. The liquid is gonna be absorbed. The farro is gonna be nice and tender. And this is a really great water to farro ratio. You can see how it just is separated out. It's not all stuck together or anything like that. It's really perfect. Then you come in and fluff it with a fork or a spoon and it's ready to serve. You can also use this for meal prep, of course, if you wanna make quite a bit of it. You can store it in the fridge for up to seven days as long as it's in, in an airtight container and it's ready to use. I told you this was so simple.